Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Quarantine Talk, Inside Edition today. Uh, and we're going to take a question from Siskanti. Uh, so I'll just read it out. Uh, Hi, Andreas. I was wondering if you're planning to use some form of automated testing in your project. It seems infeasible to build a piece of software as complex as a web browser without having some tools under your belt to make sure that no regressions are introduced into the code base as new features are being implemented. I guess that commonly used mainstream approaches, such as striving for near complete unit test coverage, may not be applicable in case of low level operating system code. But I don't see any reason for avoiding automated testing in case of a normal user space program, such as a browser, except for a willingness to accept a few bugs here and there in a personal project in order to get things done faster. Could you please share your opinion on this matter, especially in the context of low level programming? What do you think about test driven development? Do you think it may be suitable for OS development? So uh, these are very good questions, uh, Siskanti. So thank you for asking about this. Um, I think um, the short answer is I'm definitely going to use more and more automated testing as the project uh, mature or as the project matures. Um, but I, I do firmly believe that test-driven development at the start of a project or while you're trying to rapidly uh, build out a project is very, very counterproductive and um, can severely inhibit your growth rate. Uh, so I don't, I don't do that. But some components like uh, in Serenity, like the ACK uh, component, which is the shared template and container library used by both kernel and user space, that is already like mature enough that it seemed logical to start adding testing to it. So there's a fair amount of unit testing in ACK um, and some components are starting to feel like uh, they're getting to the point where we can start unit testing them as well, um, thinking specifically of libcore, um, although libcore is a bit fluxy still, but um, you're absolutely right that building complex software, um, if you want it to stay stable, then you need uh, automated testing. It's just, um, it's just absolutely true. And every project, every serious project that I ever worked on um, that was meant to survive for more than a couple of months, uh, added more and more tests over time. And, and I, I recognize that it's a, it's the only right way to do things really. Um, and we'll, we'll be doing that too. So I think in the case of the browser and, um, libjs, I'm probably going to go, uh, and start adding automated testing pretty soon. Um, especially for libjs because it's just so straightforward and unlike any of the other uh, components of Serenity, uh, libjs has a like an already completely defined API, right? And actually, I suppose you could say that about the kernel too, because the kernel sort of exposes mostly uh, POSIX syscalls, but libjs aims to implement the, the, the JavaScript language, right? Which is already well-defined. So uh, in fact, we, we should, if we get it to a good place, then we would even be able to import um, tests, like existing test suites, right? But um, I think libjs is probably the next thing that we'll, we'll start to add automated testing for. And uh, in the context of low-level programming, I think automated testing is obviously a huge hassle when it comes to um, kernels, especially if you want to do like unit testing. Um, automated testing of, uh, at the macro level is, is really easy because you just need to run your system and you're macro testing it um, all the time. So when it comes to like stability testing and performance testing and stuff like that, I, I would much rather take a holistic approach and um, build tests that run in user space mostly and then use that as a whole system test. I think um, for me personally, I'm not super interested in building like kernel only testing um, systems, but um, it would be nice to start building out a sort of Unix layer or POSIX layer test suite at some point. Um, really the only thing that's holding this back is that uh, it we just need to add some scripts and decide on a structure uh, and then uh, make it possible to to run the scripts inside the system, and then we can just start adding scripts. And there's no technical reason why we can't do this. It's just um, 
I tend to do whatever I'm interested in at the moment, and so far I didn't get bitten by the bug that makes me go and write a test suite for POSIX stuff. But I, I do feel the presence of the um, of the libjs testing bug, so I feel like he's gonna bite me pretty soon. Um, and I think that that'll be a very good thing, and that will help us uh, develop the um, the JavaScript engine a lot faster as well. And um, on my lunch break today, I worked on um, a Linux port of libjs, so now it's actually possible to build and uh, run libjs on Linux, which you know might be uh, helpful for somebody who um, is interested in, in, in like working on a JS engine and helping out with that, but not necessarily as interested in um, Serenity development. So um, obviously that that doesn't fit me, but if there's somebody out there who just wants to help out with um, working on libjs, then this is a way that they can do that without uh, getting too far out their comfort zone. Um, anyway, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess that's sort of my opinion about the matter. I think automated testing is absolutely necessary, and um, I, I do think that you need it. You also um, need to be aware that it will slow you down, and especially if your APIs are constantly changing, then um, writing tests means that if you update uh, your APIs, you're going to have to fix up your tests all the time. And I guess that's the, the main reason that I didn't want to get too deep into testing yet. If I'm thinking about like honest, valid reasons. Um, but it is very satisfying to run tests and tests allow you to refactor uh, confidently, which is hard to do if you don't have tests. So. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the answer. And um, I guess I guess uh, this is a indoor quarantine talk. I hope uh, it works out and um, maybe we can do them indoors sometimes. Why not? Anyways, I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, I'm certainly doing okay-ish. Um, uh, although I have to admit that my, my brain keeps playing these tricks on me that uh, every night I think I'm getting sick and uh, I start to feel my throat and like, oh, the symptoms are coming, right? And then I wake up in the morning and I feel perfectly fine. And uh, that's not very good. But I talked to my coworkers this morning and they all said that <laughs> they were experiencing the exact same thing. So wouldn't be surprised if, if you recognize what I'm talking about, you too. Um, but I think we have a very weird time ahead of us and it's definitely, uh, it's definitely necessary to keep our heads cool for what's to come. So yeah, good luck out there. And thanks for hanging out with me at the computer today and, uh, I will see you next time. Bye.